come into our mountain pose and get a little warm up going and then see what we can do for any tension we might have in our shoulders or upper body. So toes straight ahead, feet hip width apart, knees toward your second toes, just bend them a little and check. Sitting bones down, ribs in and up, and shoulders back and down. Feel that core supporting your spine and lengthen up through the whole spine. Let the belly move as you expand the lungs. And exhale, just emptying completely. Focus inward, feeling what's going on for you today. And then inhale it, bring your arms to shoulder level, shoulders still down, hands to your heart, elbows back. Inhale out to the front and clasp your hands behind you. Bring your heart high, nice upper body back bend to start, drop those shoulders down. And then exhale, pivot at your hips, come on into that forward position as deeply as your body wants. Move your chin around, releasing your neck. Lift your sitting bones, stretching your legs. And don't forget to breathe. Hands toward your head for that shoulder to warm up a little bit. And then with the chin slightly in, bend your knees slightly as you work your way up. And again, upper body back bend, dropping your shoulders, leaning your head back. Don't tip your chin too high, though. Keep stretching your neck. And then inhale upright. Exhale, release your arms. Feel your spine a little bit more activated. And notice what you're doing, gripping or not with your toes. Spread them out more. Inhale again to shoulder level with those arms. Hands to your heart, stretch to the front, keep the shoulders down, and then clasp the opposite way behind you, so opposite finger on the outside. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, and then exhale over. Hands toward the ceiling, and again, just let your neck release. Top of the head down toward the floor, maybe a little bit more. Don't forget to breathe. And then bend your knees again slightly as you come all the way back up. Upper body back, bend one more time, lifting your heart. And don't forget to breathe. Inhale upright, releasing your arms. And again, just noticing more circulation through your whole body. And we'll do our side stretches next. So keep one hand down, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling. Hand above your shoulder, stretch them apart. Lean to the side, no twist. So make sure both shoulders and hips face forward. Stretch out through the side and don't forget to breathe. Push the foot you're leaning away from down for that extra rib opening. And then inhale up, release your arm and feel the difference on the two sides. So yeah, we got to balance it out. Other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away as you lean over to the side, rib opening, with that foot pushing down and the hand and head away. Keep breathing into the side you're opening. And then inhale up and release that arm. Circle the shoulders a couple of times, back and down, spread your toes. And then stretch your spine apart for our twist. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows. Stretch that spine apart and exhale to twist. Keep the breath um, open and full and keep the weight on both feet. And an exhalation, come on over. Lift your hips, drop your head and roll. Keep the weight on both feet as much as you can. And then in the twist, work your way all the way up into that upper body back bend, elbows back, shoulders down, and heart high. Keep breathing, reaching out through the head and the elbows. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms around. And again, stretch the spine apart to twist the other way. A breath in and exhale over. 
And again, deepen as far as you'd like to go on this side. Check if your weight is still on both feet. Keep your arms next to your ears and work your way up in the twist into that upper body back bend once more. No pressure in your low back when you're twisted, ever. Keep breathing, lengthening, relaxing. Keep the heart high, excuse me, heart high. And inhale upright, exhale around to the center, arms extended toward the ceiling. Stretch up on one side, again, lengthening through that side, coming up on the opposite toes of the foot, you're stretching, side you're stretching, foot is flat. Exhale that side down, inhale, <clears throat> the other one up, and stretch it out through the loops. Exhale down, let's do it again, other side up, Keep the shoulder, shoulder blade toward your waist as much as you can while you stretch. And the other side as well. And again, lengthen through that whole rib area, up through the fingertips. And then both feet down, both arms up again, extended mountain. Evenly into your feet and the base of the chosen heels. Reach up through the crown, sitting bones down. Feel that whole body supported. And then swan dive, so arms out to the side, pivot at your hips, come parallel to the floor, stretch everything long, and then just drop into ragdoll and hang. Wherever the arms hang, just let them be a weight pulling you down. Hands behind your legs for a little extra stretch if you like. And then arms back to the center. Lift your sitting bones, tuck in your chin slightly, bend your knees, and then drop the sitting bones and lift the ribs as you wind all the way back. Shoulders back and down, and again coming into mountain pose. As you get back into mountain pose, just take a minute inventorying your body, noticing that circulation through the rib area, through the spine, all the way up and down your body. And then let's just stretch apart through the spine and do our windmill side to side. Just getting that whole shoulder area moving a little bit more. Bring the shoulder around and then back as you go from one side to the other. And then as you release, come back to the center and work the shoulders in your swimming backstroke. Bring that arm in close to your ears. It goes up and around. And then just release it to the back. Feel that whole shoulder, shoulder blade area getting a little more circulated. And then bring the arms out at shoulder level. Put the thumbs inside the palms, fingers just gently around the thumbs. Turn one fist up and the other down. Push out through the fists. And then rotate them the other one down and the opposite one up. And just keep pushing out as you move those fists one way and then the other. And as you do that, bring the rest of the arm into it up to the elbow and then all the way to the shoulder. And then really move the shoulders with it, bringing one shoulder forward as the fist goes down and then the other. And feel that kind of massage action all the way through your shoulders, keep pushing out through the hands, up through the head, just letting those shoulders rotate with the whole arm. And then release the shoulders from that, just moving your arms. And then just moving your hands. And then both fists pointing down, tighten those fists, tightening, tightening, tightening around, making your National Geographic flower bud. And then for that National Geographic slow lapse photography release, let those petals bloom. So just releasing those finger petals slowly, slowly, slowly out to the sides, stretching your fingers as they get all the way out, pushing them apart, really feeling that lengthening, push the palms out, bringing those palms and flowers up to the sun and the sky. 
and then shake out your arms and hands and whole body. As you get back in the mountain pose, just feel more circulation through that upper back and shoulder area, all the way down through your fingertips. Take a moment, just noticing how your body is working today. And if you've got a wall or door nearby, let's go there and stand about a foot or two in front of it so that your arms can just reach the wall right in front of your shoulders. And then wherever your upper finger is, move the bottom of your hands up to that level and take a good step back, stretching through those shoulders and bring your hips right above your ankles. So your ribs are dropping down, but your top of your head is reaching up towards your hands on the wall. So a nice back bend through the whole back, letting that rib area and chest sink down toward the floor as you push into the whole length of your palms on the, on the wall. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale, any tension. Just sink those hips back, maybe a little more, ribs dropping even further. But keep the top of the head reaching up so that that whole body is in a nice back. Bend. And then bend your knees slightly, tuck in your chin just a little bit, step back forward, and release your arms. And again, just coming back to the mat, feel your whole back a little bit more activated all the way across the shoulders. Take a moment to breathe. Sink into your balance foot, and we'll do our balance warm up. So make sure your knee is going towards your second toes, spread out through the toes themselves, no gripping, that gets less support. You wanna make sure the ball of the foot area heel is evenly sinking into the earth on your balance foot. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up, so make sure it's not rolling out to the side. And then sinking into that foot, Activate your core for support on your spine, up through the crown, and bring your other foot up. Don't cross it over, so make sure it's just going straight up. As high as you want, you can pull underneath it or around it to bring it further toward your chest if it wants to, or keep it low to the ground, either way. We're going to circle the ankle, as always, keeping those ankles nice and flexible both ways. And then when you're ready to release, straighten it out and bring it back to the floor. Shift from that side to the other one. And again, spread out your toes. Align, activate the core, bring those shoulders back and down and crown high. And when you're ready on that side, bring the other leg. Again, make sure it's going straight and then work your ankle when you're ready. So circle the ankle both ways, flex and point, and bring the foot back down when you're ready. Sitting bones toward the floor, hips nice and open, hands to your heart. Inhale, bringing the hands toward the ceiling. Look at your thumbs, bring them back behind you, lifting your heart. <clears throat> Keep the shoulders, shoulder blades down toward your waist, opening through the shoulders. <clears throat> and exhaling, bring your hands to your chest, pivot on over, drop into ragdoll, and just take a moment lifting your sitting bones, stretching the back of your legs. Hands up under your knees on your shins for our halfway up stretch. So bring your chin slightly towards your chest so the back of the neck keeps stretching. The spine is nice and straight from the sitting bones one way to the crown the opposite way. Shoulders, shoulder blades toward your waist. Elbows straight, knees straight, spine straight, stretch it out. And then exhaling, bend your knees and then transition to the floor into our child pose. Hips on your heels, hands, palms up and forehead toward the floor. Just breathe into it, let those shoulders relax down, exhaling any tension. And then inhaling, sit up and come into, or let's just come into a cross-legged position as we start. 
So remember, we're creatures of habit. Switch those legs around, other one in front or on top. Sitting bones behind you. Core activated, supporting your spine, lifting up through the crown. And the hips and shoulders nicely lined up. And we'll work the neck and shoulders a little bit more. So bring your chin into your throat center, right at the base of your throat. And just let everything relax down. As you're there, letting the back of your neck get a nice stretch along it. Exhaling any tension. And then bring your hands one at a time to the back of your head. Do not press, only add the weight of your hands. Just a gentle stretch to the back of your neck. Take an exhalation and just deepen a little bit further. Feel the muscles release, the whole body relax a little bit more. Exhaling and relaxing deeper. Let that chin deepen into the throat center. Keep breathing, just relax in the back of the neck. And then release your hands. Tip your head back up and then lift your chin toward the ceiling, but keep stretching out through the back of your neck. So at the base of the skull, kind of push out through the top of your head as you lift your chin. You know, that front, front of your throat lengthening a little bit more. Move your jaw around, stretching it, pushing your chin forward, circling it around, scrunch your face. Maximize that stretch a little bit more. Keep stretching out through the back of your neck the whole time. And then tip your head back upright and feel a little bit more activation through the whole throat and neck. Shoulders back and down. Bring your chin into that throat center again. Roll over to one side with your chin, one shoulder up toward the ceiling. Over to the center as you look up, over to the opposite shoulder, down to the shoulder, and back to the center. Circling again, over to the side, up toward the ceiling, all the way around. And then pausing in the middle, reverse the direction, over to the shoulder, up toward the ceiling, into the center, to the other side, down to the shoulder and into the center. Same direction one more time, all the way around, feeling that whole neck area, base of the skull, and everything activated. As you get back to the center, just pause, and again, looking forward, stretch through the back of your neck. Take a moment and breathe. And bring your hands behind you, clasp the fingers, press the knuckles down into the floor as much as you feel comfortable. Feel that heart center open a little bit across your chest. And then rotate again, <clears throat> excuse me, bringing the chin up toward the ceiling, out through the base of your skull, just a little upper body back bend through the shoulders. And again, inhale back upright, releasing your arms, and switch your legs. So as you get into your other cross-leg position, check your alignment, lengthen your spine, and then again, bring your hands back behind you, but clasp them the opposite way. Fingers down into the floor, shoulders, shoulder blades down as that heart area opens once more. And again, lift your chin just slightly looking up, but push out through the base of the skull and crown behind you, bring that shoulder area, upper back, into a little bit more of a back bend. Take a moment, breathing. Exhaling and relaxing through the shoulders. And then again, head upright, releasing your arms. Feel the shoulders, kind of circle them around a little bit, releasing any tension, and breathe. Bring one arm out with the palm facing forward, right at shoulder level. Bend your elbow, fingertips up to the ceiling, and bring that hand in right in front of your face. Take your other arm out, shoulder level, palm facing down. 
swing it under eagle arms, bring those palms together if you can, otherwise backs of the hands. Pull your elbows down and in, and then push your elbows out and lift your arms as far as they want to go. Take a moment and breathe, feel that upper back getting a little bit more activated as you're in those eagle arms. Spread out through the shoulder blades, pulling the shoulder blades themselves though down toward your waist and the fingertips up toward the ceiling. Take a moment, exhale, keeping the arms right where they are, kind of pivot forward at your hips, bring your arms down toward the floor, stretching the back of your body. Exhale. And then fingertips leading, pull your body back all the way up to that starting position, eagle arms, and then fly away, swinging your arms back and forth. Shoulders back and down, exhaling any tension. And of course, we need to balance and do the other side. So opposite arm out, palm to the inside, bending at your elbow, fingertips up. Other arm out to the side at shoulder level, palm down. Swing it under. See if you can touch the palms on this side or the backs of the hands. And again, pull the elbows down and in toward your chest. Feel your shoulders. And then push the elbows out and the fingertips up. Take a breath. Exhaling any tension. Just maximizing across the shoulders for your body. Making sure you're allowing things to shoulder blade down and stretch out through the shoulders themselves. Take a breath. Pivot at your hips as you exhale. Bring your whole body forward and down, arms toward the floor. Only go as far as it's comfortable for you. Kind of push those sitting bones behind you down. Exhaling, lengthening through the crown, through the fingertips. Exhaling, tension. And then on an inhalation, lead with those fingertips again back all the way up into your starting eagle arms pose. And then fly your arms away, swinging them out, getting that circulation going again through your shoulders. Take a breath, exhaling any tension. And then bringing your feet to the end of the mat, come into staff position. Sitting bones behind you, core activated, crown to the ceiling. Use that core for support and slowly round your back rolling all the way down to the floor. Take a moment as you get there, just a little reclined integration with those shoulders relax down and allow your body to release. Turn your hands, palms down, and then roll over onto your left side and bring your hand into the middle of your back with the palm out, back of your hand on your spine. And then roll onto that hand with the elbow coming in towards your side. And then pull both shoulders down toward the floor. Just a slightly different opening across that heart and shoulder area. Remember, be gentle if you need to through the shoulders. Exhale any tension. Let your body just relax. And then rolling back to that side, release that arm. Back, palms up at your side in corpse position. And then turn that palm down again, roll to the opposite side, other hand behind your back, back of the hand against the spine, palm out, and roll down onto the floor, pulling that elbow close to your side. And again, feel that shoulder, let it relax down. Feel the heart opening all the way across the chest. Take a breath, let the tension out. Exhale and release any tightness through the back or the shoulders. Roll over to the side again, releasing that arm, turning the palms up, shoulders down. Take a breath and exhale, bringing the hands out to T position. Keep the hands, palms up, feet hip width apart. Sitting bones down with the 
hips or toward the heels, hips down onto the floor, bring those knees in next to your sitting bones. Press the back gently down. Hands can be palms up or down. We're going to go into our bent knee twist. Just bringing the knees over at hip level, turning your head toward the opposite side. Keep the shoulders, shoulder blades way down into that floor. Feeling those shoulders, release any tension as well. Take a moment and breathe. Knees going down for that lower back twist if you're loving it. You can bring the knees up toward your elbow or extend the legs all the way up to the side for a little more low back twist. Head turning, neck area twist, and those shoulders stay down. That's that whole middle back in the twist. Let it happen. Don't force it. Go only as far as your body wants to go. And when you're ready to release your twist, heels toward your hips, roll onto your back. Straighten things out if you need to so we can twist to the other side. Again, knees are above the hips, hands, palms up or down, your choice as you roll the knees to the other direction, turning your head the opposite way. And again, shoulders, shoulder blades down into the floor as much as you can. Knees down toward the floor if you're loving it, up toward your elbow or extending your legs out further. Head turning, neck area twist, only do what's right for your body. Remember, twisting what is your personal practice amount every time. Exhale any tension. And remember, one day may be easier than another. One side may be easier than the other. Do what's right for your body at this particular moment. Exhale and relax. And again, when you're ready to release the twist, heels toward your hips and rolling onto your back. Bring your feet to the floor, slide those legs out, and come into a relaxation posture in corpse position, or if you're loving working your shoulders, you can roll to the side, bringing your hands one at a time under your back, getting a little bit more heart opening as you bring those shoulders back to the floor in that angel wings position. So just breathe and relax, shoulders down, whichever direction you're in, hands behind you, or palms up near your hips, away from your sides. Toes together, just release your whole lower body and relax, exhaling any tension as you separate the feet. Take a moment, moving your head side to side, just letting that neck area release and relax as much as it wants to. And just breathing into that heart. Exhale and release any tension. As you let your body grow heavier, sinking deeper, shoulders down into that earth support. Just feel your heart open and your body relax. Whichever arm position you're in, just let those upper body release through the arms, through the shoulders, through the back, through the spine. Exhaling, letting the hips and legs release. And rolling side to side, releasing any tightness in the neck. Let everything relax. Body growing heavier and sinking deeper into that earth support. If you've got your arms in a position that's uncomfortable, of course you can always release and relax. As we go forward with our relaxation, just let your body completely relax. And allow any thoughts of your body to release. So if there's tension there, just release those hands even. Shoulders down, heart open, breath full and deep. Let your body go. And as you relax even deeper into that earth support, just allow your awareness of your body to release from your attention. As that releases, just allow any Thoughts coming to your mind to release as well. Now it's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. So let's thoughts coming in drift out as easily as your breath, floating away without attention. Allow your awareness to release both your body 
and your mind and my voice. Just releasing awareness of any distracting elements, letting everything go. Allowing your body to release, your mind to float, and your body to completely sink into that earth support. Relaxing completely. Allowing your awareness to release your body and your mind. Being that peace deep within as your focus. Deepening into that earth embrace. Floating in your awareness. Deepening into the peace. Taking a few moments. Relaxing in peace. Of course, keep opening your heart, allowing all that release and relaxation just to continue as long as you have time. If it's time, though, to get ready for the rest of your day, if your hands are under you, just release them, breathing more deeply, allowing that breath to return to the moment in your body as you breathe and stretch more completely with your breath. And as you are ready to Get ready for your yoga hug of appreciation. Just bring your sitting bones toward your heels and your heels toward your hips, your knees up toward your heart, however feels good for you. Wrapping your arms around for that appreciative yoga hug today. Letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And whenever you're ready to release that, bring your head and feet to the floor. Roll to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.